Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Times two. Let's see if it works this time. There we go. Welcome to Coffee Break with her by Laura Gonzalez. I had um, my headphones connected and I keep forgetting that if I don't want to use the headphones, I have to pull the plug, literally. Pull the plug. And then when you pull the plug, it takes you off the video. And I forgot those two things. I'm getting used to it. Um, because now I'm recording all my podcasts with my headphones. But I don't want to do the coffee break with the headphones. I just think it looks very, very silly. Anyway, uh, welcome to Coffee Break. <laughs> thank you for your patience. And thank you for tuning back in. And good morning, Diana. Good morning, Lourdes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope you're all doing good. And uh, Diana, seeing you here reminds me of letting you all know I'm doing private lessons for the tarot. Mm. I know people have been asking and I have had a couple students the whole last year. And since I do them only one-on-one, -on -one, I haven't been promoting, but I'm open to start teaching again. And Diana, you reminded me because you were at the other class. And that's how I remember. Anyway, uh, I hope everybody's doing good. And um, I have a new tarot. New to me. New to use here. I think this was a gift. I think somebody um, gifted me this. Because I don't for sure i didn't buy this this is uh too small too colorful too cheesy as i call them but i figure something new thank you sharon for coming back no there was a problem with the audio and i had to start again and uh thank you for coming back thank you for tuning back in so i have this new tarot and oh, it's so colorful in the back it really is cute it really is cute and it's super tiny so you cannot shuffle it like normal you have to do the the thing where you uh, where you go like this with the cards so I've been doing this all morning and I'm ready to give you a couple of cards let's see what the divine wants us to see today I have two cards so let's see what we have. The first card that we have is the Nine of Wands. Oh, it's so tiny. You can barely see it. So I'm going to come close to you here on Facebook. That is the Nine of Wands. And there it is on Instagram. So the Nine of Wands is a card that talks about working and working really hard and continue working and feeling that you are indeed as this image is showing kind of like feeling trapped or feeling that there is no end like you keep going 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 and suddenly you cannot finish but the truth of the matter is like you're almost there so it's telling you like at the same time like i understand you're tired i understand you're upset i understand you don't want to keep going but you're almost there so keep keep going keep doing it and the second card that we have for today, I'm very pleased to announce, that is the Ace of Swords. This is really cute. So the Ace of Swords is a card that is talking about success and the ability to communicate and the ability to think clearly, to be inspired, to get those ideas in order comma in order to do new things and i think it's quite the uplifting message since we are in the beginning of a mercury retrograde cycle and a lot of communications go haywire just like it just happened with my audio salute mm. so it is um 
uplifting to know that we have an ace of swords that um, it's a good omen for good communication, clear communication, clarity, inspiration, etc. It's also really good for new beginnings. And it could be announced in a new beginning. So the combination of the two cards, I think, is fantastic because it's telling us, don't give up, you're almost there. And then comes a new beginning, which will make a whole lot of sense if you take them chronologically, right? You're almost there, don't give up. A new beginning, a new start, and a fresh start is on the horizon, so to speak. So anyway, another thing that we haven't used for a long, long, long time is the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. So I just went ahead and got the uh, deck out again. And this is another set of cards that, because they're square, it's easier to just mix, um, you know, pushing against each other, putting put in the one in front of the other. And um, I love this oracle. I love this Don Miguel Ruiz uh, for agreements. And uh, I often wonder if he is really Mexican or if he just um, appropriated the card tour. I don't know. But this is supposed to be uh, wisdom of the Toltec people, which is our people the Mexican people. People are used to hear um, Aztec. Aztec is actually incorrect. Um, you can say Mexica people or Toltec people because that is the actual um, name. But when I teach I use Aztec because our, most people are used to the word Aztec. Anyway, classes are open, courses are open. I'm teaching tarot. I'm also teaching practical magic. Uh, those are open to the public, and the 30th, we're going to have the next class about radical self-love. It's only $20. It's open to the public. Everybody can attend. You don't have to be an experienced witch to attend those classes, and it's going to be once a month. And I also have the special for the month, which is the numerology and tarot combo like I did last year. That was really fun to do, and it's only $50. So if you want to do it, uh, buy it now because it really is fun. And then you will know your cards for life. Those don't change. It just changed on the relationship for the card of the year. All right. Let's see what Oracle. Okay. 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 We have your truth is personal to you. Don't take anything personally. So the four agreements, for those who are not um, familiar with the four agreements, are do not take, any, do not take anything personally, um, always do your best, be impeccable with your word, and what is the other one? Don't take any, always do your best. So there's the four agreements, right? Always do your best, be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, and... Um, I forgot already the other one. So, anywho, this one is out of the don't take anything personally, and the message is your truth. Your truth is personal to you. And the message reads your own opinions. Okay, <laughs> let me read here. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It is no one's but your but yours. So it's pretty much telling you keep your opinions to yourself or your opinions about an X, Y, or C topic are yours and not everybody is going to have the same opinions. So I will read verbatim what says here, your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It is no one's but no one's truth but yours there's always two sides to everything <laughs> thank you lourdes lourdes is saying this really resonated with me today so far thank you lourdes thank you everybody who came back and thank you diana lourdes sharon uh genie and everybody for being here i will see you wednesday with the oracles um 
and I will see you Friday with the learning the card of the week. See you all soon. Take care. Never forget that you're loved. Bye-bye.